to another YouTube video. My name's Lauren, if you're new, Saturday. I'm doing all of my Sunday tasks today because tomorrow I'm not gonna be really home. Christian and I are going to the Arnold Palmer Invitational, which is like a golfing event. So, doing that tomorrow. So I'm trying to do a bunch of laundry today and stuff like that to prepare me for next week, even though it's Saturday morning and I have two days left. But I just cooked breakfast, cleaned up breakfast, threw a load in the washer. And now I think I'm gonna head to Starbucks, which I never treat myself to Starbucks because I really just love my Breville espresso machine that I have at home. I love the way that I make my coffee at home and I enjoy not spending $10 on a latte every day. So I rarely ever treat myself to Starbucks, but I wanted to today because there's a new drink that I want to try. It's the toasted vanilla oat milk shaken espresso. And I thought it sounded super good, right up my alley, something that I enjoy. So I'm gonna go try it. I'll take you guys along and let you guys know if it's good all that stuff. So, welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, I am not really doing much today, which is good. Um, I love when I just have like a weekend to not really do anything, just because this past work week was just very stressful. It's been busy, a lot's been going on. I also have three days of PTO that I have to use by the end of March. Anyways. That's what's going on. So, let's go to Starbucks. No line at Starbucks right now. Okay, Hello, thank you for choosing our Starbucks. What's that again? Hi, can I do a grande toasted vanilla oat milk shaken espresso? All right, anything else? No, that's it. All right, we'll see you at the window. Thank you. You're welcome. 6.12 for a grande? This is expensive. Hi. No, I'm good. Thank you. How can you not smile pulling out of Starbucks? Okay, let's try. It is so good. This lighting is so bad. Um, I feel like I kind of taste honey. I'm literally like chugging the whole entire drink because it's so freaking good. You guys, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I have like been chugging it, it's so good. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go back home now and switch my laundry. And you need to go out whenever you see this and go get the toasted vanilla oat milk shaken espresso from Starbucks. Let me know what you think, let me know your thoughts let me know if you hate it let me know if you love it in the comments because i am i love it it's it's so good i need to put on some chapstick it's a lot later we're going to get some sushi for dinner. It's on my sleeve. Um, it's um, a hole in the wall place. It's called 
sushi lolas and it's so good it's south of winter park area if you live in orlando and it's really good it's like you know those hole in the wall sushi places are always like the best sushi places they're really good yeah i think people are filming a music video by the pool christian and i are just out on the balcony looking at them but I think they're filming a music video of some sort because there's lights, there's like a video camera, there's a DJ, it's insane. But that's what we're doing, it's a lot later. Haven't really done much, haven't moved from the couch really, just been doing laundry, just switched. What? You gotta sit next like Maya and The. day I thought I would walk you through my skincare routine that I do in the morning and show you the products that I use that I love I do want to start incorporating a vitamin C serum back in because I used to use it last year and I loved my skin and the results that it gave me back then but once I ran out I just didn't repurchase it so I'm definitely wanting to incorporate a good vitamin C serum. If you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments down below. But I'm gonna put my hair on top of my head so that way I can rinse my face. I don't use any soap in the morning. So I just kind of rinse my face. And um, I get my neck wet too because I go in with a hyaluronic acid. I'm actually gonna dry my face because and like leave my neck damp. This is like weird to show, but what I'm gonna use on my face to kind of get it wet to prep for the hyaluronic acid, I don't know if this is good or not, but I do it. So I use the facial radiance pads by First Aid Beauty and I actually cut them in half to make them last longer. Just take a pad and cut it to where it looks like this. And, um, I really like these. They help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. And then I don't really let that dry. I know that for hyaluronic acid, you're supposed to go on with damp skin. So that's why I dampen my neck to help it penetrate. But that said, I'm using the ordinary hyaluronic acid. Okay. So. Just put that on and then for eye cream, I do eye cream before moisturizer to help the eye cream like seep in to my skin before I apply moisturizer over top of it. So I've been loving Modere eye cream and I just take like a pea size and I put it on my lid and all around. This is the eye cream. I use a different eye cream at night. I use this. I've been using it for a while actually. It's the, I don't know how to say it, Naily, but I use this at night and then I use the Modere eye cream in the morning. And then for moisturizer, I use the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. And before I go in with my sunscreen, while my moisturizer is seeping in, I got this tip from Julia Havens. I'm sure you guys have heard of her, honestly. But I got this tip from her for brows. And I use this Got To Be Glued Styling Spiking Glue. And I use it on my brows while my moisturizer is seeping in before I go in with sunscreen. And I know it's weird, but it has completely changed the shape of my brows. So I just take it and I put it on my hand. I think she goes right in with it, but I don't really have thick, nice brows. So I just put it on the back of my hand to like evenly distribute because my brows are really thin and sparse. And I just go in and I brush them up and it just like creates a different shape for my brows. And I really do like it. At first it was really different and it actually helps me not fill in my brows too dark and make them look like 
blocks on my face, if that makes sense. It makes them look like there's hairs on my face. I know it's weird. After that, I take a Q-tip and I kind of go around. That's what I've been doing on my eyebrows. And then for sunscreen, I use the Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46 sunscreen. I really love it. I'm gonna need all the sunscreen today because we're gonna be outside. I'm gonna do my ears too. <laughs> Don't forget your ears. They can get sunburned so easily. And I'm gonna use a little bit more to go down my neck. This is a really good sunscreen. It doesn't break me out, which, or give me like little clogged pores or bumps, which I hate in a sunscreen. Just wanted to show you guys my skincare because I haven't really shared in a really long time what I've been using and loving. I'm gonna get ready for the Arnold Palmer Invitational. We're gonna be on the sun. I'll bring you guys along, but I just wanted to share my skincare first and, um, share the products as well. So I'm gonna get ready and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, this is what I am wearing to the Arnold Palmer Invitational today. It's like a golf thing. I'm just wearing this dress. This dress provides absolutely zero support whatsoever. It's from Pretty Little Thing. It was super, super cheap. I bought it like six or seven months ago for the California trip and I never ended up wearing it. I've kept it in my closet. But it just doesn't have any, you can't adjust the straps, just doesn't hug you in in any way. So, so I'm just wearing this and then Superga shoes, bag, just some gold jewelry, earrings, hair up because it's outside. I'm gonna grab my sunglasses from my car. Christian's waiting for me down in my car, but bring you guys along, try and get a few clips gonna be a fun day hopefully I get a little bit of a tan so that's why I also wanted to wear this because I feel like spaghetti straps can get a nice little tan on my shoulders and chest wearing sunscreen but still so a little outfit I can link it it's just a cheap summer dress this is Christian by the way calling me okay bye Trying this loyal lemonade, loyal nine Hopefully. cocktails. They're from uh, Northeast. That's where they started. Now they're uh, bringing them down, like so Boston, like Boston area New York. houses. Like they're popular. Yeah, they are popular up there. Okay, um, I'm gonna try it. I got the lemonade flavor. It's Christian vodka sells lemonade. These. Only other nine percent can that's available is Monaco. Okay, so the difference between these and High Noon, though, is. You can kind of taste the alcohol. I think I'm already buzzed off one set. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally can taste it. And you can smell it. Boat days with these in the sun. Like soup. 
That's what it is. It's tomato soup with alcohol. I don't know if I ever like Bloody Marys. How is this, honey? We just got home, got Chipotle for dinner, got a shirt, just a sleep shirt I wanted to show. I'm about to get in the shower. Oh, and camera battery is flashing at me. Wow. Got this shirt. It'd be a nice sleep shirt. It says Arnold Palmer Invitational on it. Okay, my camera battery died and I just had to switch it out really quick. But I wanted to go ahead and end off this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna shower, get ready for the work week right now, lay in bed, relax, before I have to get up for work tomorrow morning. So I just wanted to end off this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.